Los Davies. Man, it's windy again today. Gotta love Nebraska. Actually, you kind of do gotta love Nebraska because Nebraska is going through some tough times right now. There is just a ton of flooding like you guys have seen in my other videos. Towns are completely underwater and everybody is helping everybody else out. You gotta love the, the community that is Nebraska. Man, this thing has got so much more pep than what it did before. Well, it's supposed to rain in about an hour. Won't be a very long ride. I, man, I just can't wait so we can get out on the weekends and just go ride for a day or two at a time, you know? Yeah, but getting back to the flooding, there's so much in Nebraska that's that's affected by the flooding. Northeastern Nebraska, man, a dam went gave loose. There's Sherman Reservoir. It is not good. Towns are underwater, man, and over in western Iowa, even. There's the Harley Davidson dealer over in uh, Pacific Junction is completely underwater. I saw a post that they put on Facebook saying that our building is not our dealership, our staff and our customers are our dealership. We're going to be just fine. Man, that is so awesome to have an attitude like that when your building's underwater, you know? People in the Midwest, I'm telling you, they're, they're, they're wonderful, wonderful people. I just, I always joke about moving somewhere else, you know, where it's warmer in the winter and stuff like that. The community that is the Midwest is, is, is just so awesome. Everybody's helping everybody. I saw a post on Facebook where these people showed up from Florida with a uh, an amphibious vehicle and I actually saw that vehicle uh, just recently on one of uh, Off the Ranch's videos. You guys check that out, Off the Ranch. Uh, they showed up, they think it's like a Serpa, Sherpa or something like that? I don't know, I'll put it somewhere around here. But They showed up with one of those and one of the state patrolmen I was talking with said that uh, yeah they showed up with that thing on a gooseneck trailer they were from Florida and uh, they jumped out of their pickup and they said hey how can we help I love I love seeing communities come together I mean, it gives you hope northern Nebraska has got a lot of ranch country and lots of lots of livestock I saw a post on on Facebook where like a, a whole group of farmers from over in Iowa just any flatbed they could find, they loaded it up with hay and they, they brought it over. It's uh, it's heartwarming. Do stuff like that. Even like paying it forward in a drive through or something like that. You have no idea what that means to people. I mean, it, it, not just to the people that you're paying it forward with. It's the people that, that hear the echoes from that. You know, it's the people that that hear the stories and, and, and it inspires them to do it also. That's that's the big thing right there. Inspiring others to do to do great things, to be helpful. Oh speeding. Cool cop hopefully. Yeah, alright, cool cop. Man, I'm so glad that I wasn't riding this thing like I normally do when I met that cop. Not that I speed on purpose, it's just none of this thing's got that power pro on it. Whew. It's like, scoots like nothing. Like, I'm into the wind right now. Before, it usually kind of would have a hard time going up a hill, but man, I could play into it. There's 70, 75, 80, into the wind. I mean, it's a whole, whole different animal now. Completely woke the motor up. And that is cool not that i want to be able to do a nine second quarter mile and it no don't get me wrong i don't want super bike speed i just want to you know be able to 
pull the hills with it, you know, and stuff. Believe it or not, Nebraska has hills. I can't wait to do a long trip on this bike. That is going to be like super fun. The road kind of just turned white there, didn't it? That would be from all the trucks coming out of the quarry. And pull them out, out onto the road and then it dries and then the road turns white. So how do you turn on the caution lights? Anybody got any idea how the flashers work on this thing? That ain't, that don't do it, that don't do it. There are no hidden switches. Somebody let me know in the comments below how to run this thing, please. That's the exhaust pipe. Thank goodness it's cold today. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain yet, so let's keep going. Slow down, buddy. The guy behind me, not the guy in the red pickup. <laughs> Man, this thing sounds great. I can see like the orange reflection in my gloves from my helmet. Looks like we're going to get back right before the rain. Hey, a little bit of sun. I want to stop in the sun. I want to feel it. I want to warm up in the sun. Come on, the sun. Bring on the sun. The sun hates us here lately. Yep, everybody check out if you want to help out with the flood relief check out uh, the Nebraska Red Cross I just I googled Nebraska flood relief and it took me right to uh, Nebraska Red Cross flood relief so if you guys want to help out Google that check that out do what you can other than that we're gonna pull through it I got no doubts in my mind. We're going to be just fine. It's just going to be a little, it's going to, it's going to be a tough spring, tough, tough summer for some people. Man, it's been a good ride. Short, but, you know, 50 miles or so, about 60 miles. That's a, that's a good little ride on a day where it's supposed to have rained all day and where it's going to rain again. But hey, the road's dry. There's a little bit of sun peeking through. I'm on a motorcycle. I can't ask for much more than that. Everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road. That's not good. The I'm such a child. If I didn't want to go to jail. Down and I'm doing 85 again. You two have a good day.